Hey guys, welcome to Tony's Autos. In this video, I will show you how to make combat system in Roblox Studio. So creating your combat system in Roblox is actually pretty easy with the tools that we have right now. So let's start creating our combat system. So first, let's go ahead and load up a base plate here. So once you load up your base plate here, what you need to do is you want to open up your toolbox. So if you don't have the toolbox section here, you just need to go to home and just click on toolbox here. Now, next thing is you want to utilize the search functionality. Now, from here, you want to actually type in combat system and just hit on enter. From here, you see the option that says combat system. So you want to enlarge this one. So make sure to choose the combat system that has the PC slash mobile option. So here, just click on insert. It's going to be um, inserted here. It's going to say this thing. Just click on OK. And you've just successfully inserted that. Now, next thing we want to do is we want to actually organize this one. So you want to move all of the files that you have right here into the replicated storage. So let's just drag it here, everything that we have right now. And once you've done that, next thing you want to do is you want to transfer all of the scripts here. You have right here, just click on both of those scripts and transfer them into server script service. Now, once you've done that, next thing you want to do is you want to actually separate it again. Now, what you need to do is you want to go to starter player, open this up, and you want to transfer the combat client into the starter character script. So just drag it here. Now, once you've done that, next thing you want to do is we want to organize our animation. So let's just open this animation section here, as well as the combat system. Now, what we need to do here is we want to actually link our animations. So open up the combat animations as well. Now from here, we have block, left punch, and right punch. So what we need to do here is we want to identify what type of character that we have right now. So since I'm using R15 on my character, we'll be using R15. But if you're using R6 for this one, make sure that you use R6. So from here, what you need to do is you want to actually right click on the R15 block. And here, just click on save to Roblox. And from here, you'll see the asset configuration UI. So you want to save this one into Roblox. So since I already saved mine, I won't be saving it again. Now you need to do this for every section that has R15 for it. So you have a three files that you have to save on Roblox. Now, once you've done that, the next thing you want to do is you want to link those files that you save on Roblox into this combat animation section. So let's just go back here into Roblox and you want to go to create. Now in create, what you need to do is you want to go to your development items. And from here, you should be able to see the section that says animation. Now from here, you should see the R15 right punch, R15 left punch, and even the R15 block. So we need to each open this up. So let's just go ahead and open up R15 right punch. And what you need to do here is you want to go to URL and you want to copy this ID here. Now, since we are copying for R15 right punch, we want to insert this to right punch as well. So from here, you need to click on right punch and you want to go to animation ID under properties and you want to paste that ID and click on the empty section here. So it's going to automatically add the RB Robux asset ID here. You just need to enter the ID itself. Now, same thing, let's go to the other one, which is the R15 left punch. Same again, you need to copy your ID, go to your project, go to left punch and enter the animation ID. Just hit on the empty spot here. Then finally, the last animation here, which is the block animation. Now from here, need to copy the ID again. You need to go to project and actually add this to block. Now, once you've done that, the next thing you want to do is you want to edit a few things here if you want to. So let's just open up settings here. Now here, as you can see, we have damage, sound effects enabled, trust value, and visual effects enabled. So if you want to edit this one, like for example, if you want to enable visual effects, you need to make sure that the value is true here. So if you don't want to enable that, make sure that you remove the true value here. So make it as false. So we want to keep that. 
Now, here we also have key bindings. Like, for example, to punch, you could actually add a value E and your character. Every time your character press on E, it will, your character will actually start punching. So, yeah, you can go ahead and just edit on this one. Go wild if you want to. And, yeah. And now, finally, to complete our combat system here, we want to add our dummies. Like, to how we want to train our character. So, let's go ahead and go to Avatar. And we want to go to Rig Builder. And we want to add a retro avatar here. Or you could just basically add a character if that you want. Yeah, so maybe we could use something a lot easier or a lot simpler. So let's just choose a block avatar here. Now from here, you need to just place it in here. Maybe let's add another one. Just to give you an example. And once you've done that, you are now ready to play your game. Now from here, we want to start playing and it's going to load up. So again, for you to start punching on your uh, for your character here is you need to press on E. So whenever you press E, it's going to do this animation here. As you can see, there's the uh, help help bar there. And you can just start punching and punching again. And as you can see, they quickly fall apart and you are now ready to trample over your enemies. And that's about it. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.